The iron condor option strategy is extremely popular among traders because the iron condor can be market neutral, meaning that you do not have to pick a specific stock price movement in order for your position to profit. The iron condor is a limited risk strategy, meaning that you know 100% of your risk before you put the trade on. When selling iron condors, you can make money just from the passage of time as long as the stock price remains within a specified range of your choosing. The iron condor can also be adjusted to reduce the loss potential should the trade move against you. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how the iron condor strategy works. We're gonna walk through numerous trade examples so that you can see exactly how the strategy has performed historically in various scenarios. And I'm also gonna show you how to set up the iron condor position using real brokerage software, so be sure to stay tuned. Tuned. Be sure to check out the link in the description as I've created a free iron condor PDF that will help you choose expiration cycles and walk you through common ways to choose strike prices when setting up iron condor trades. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can get all of our options trading videos in the future. Let's start by talking about the characteristics of selling iron condors, which is typically referred to as a short iron condor position. The short iron condor strategy can be interpreted as the combination of selling a put spread and selling a call spread. When you sell a call spread, that is a bearish trade, meaning that the strategy profits when the stock price remains below the call spread. And when you sell a put spread, that is a bullish trade, meaning that the strategy profits when the stock price remains above the put spreads. The combination of a short put spread and short call spread into an iron condor gives you a market neutral trade, meaning that you want the stock price to remain in between the two spreads as time passes, as opposed to moving significantly in one direction. Here's a quick example trade from historical option data that demonstrates how a short iron condor profits when the stock price remains in between the call spread and put spread. As we can see, the stock price remains in between the call spread and the put spread as time passes, and that leads to steady profits for the iron condor seller. We're gonna go over a lot more trade examples in just a bit, but before we do, we have to talk more about how the short iron condor strategy works and how it is constructed. To get started, let's take a look at a hypothetical short iron condor position and look at the expiration profit and loss graph, as well as the maximum profit potential, the maximum loss potential, and the break-even prices for the trade. In this example, the stock price is at $500 at the time of entry, and the options that we're going to use have 60 days until expiration. To create this iron condor position, I'm going to sell the 550 call option and purchase the 600 call option to create a 550 600 short call spread and I'm going to sell the 450 put option and purchase the 400 put option to create the 450 400 short put spread. In this example I sell the 450 put for $6.15 in option premium and I buy the 400 put for $0.72 cents in option premium. For selling the 550 call I collect $7.89 and for buying the 600 call, I pay $1.94. So the total option premium collected for selling the 450 put and the 550 call comes out to $14.04. The total premium paid for buying the 400 put and the 600 call comes out to $2.66. Since I collected $14.04 for the short options and paid $2.66 for the long options, the net premium collected is $11.38. When trading options, when you collect more option premium than what you pay out, the trade is said to be entered for a credit. In this example, the iron condor is entered for an $11.38 credit. Let's take a look at the expiration profit and loss graph for this particular iron condor position. In this example, we can see that the maximum profit potential for this iron condor position is $1,138 and the maximum loss potential is significantly higher at $3,862. The breakeven prices for this trade are $438.62 and $561.38. And but where do these numbers come from? Well, the maximum profit potential of $1,138 comes from the fact that we collected $11.38 for selling the iron condor, and the best case scenario is that the iron condors options expire worthless, which means the iron condors value overall is $0 at expiration. If I sell an iron condor for $11.38 and the iron condors value is $0 at expiration, 
My profit on that trade will be $11.38 on the Iron Condor, but due to the option contract multiplier of 100, an $11.38 profit on the option translates to a profit of $1,138. The maximum loss potential of $3,862 comes from the fact that both of these iron condor spreads are $50 wide, meaning that the width of the put spread is $50 wide and the width of the call spread is $50 wide. And at expiration, only one of these spreads can be in the money while the other spread will expire worthless. If one of these spreads is fully in the money at expiration, then that spread will be worth $50 and the opposite spread in the iron condor will be worthless which means the iron condor's value at expiration will be $50, which represents $5,000 of value. If I sell an iron condor for $11.38 and the price increases to $50, that would represent a loss of $38.62, which in actual dollar terms represents a loss of $3,000. $862. While the difference in the maximum profit potential and the maximum loss potential might seem scary, keep in mind that the maximum profit of $1,138 will occur if the stock price is anywhere between $450 and $550 at expiration, which means with the stock price at $500 at the time of entry, the stock price can increase or decrease up to 10% and the strategy will still make the full profit potential at expiration. The only way this iron condor trade loses $3,862 is if the stock price is either below $400 or above $600 at expiration in 60 days. With the stock price at $500 at the time of entering this position, that means the stock price either has to fall more than 20% or increase more than 20% over the next 60 days for that maximum loss potential to be realized at expiration. In terms of the break-even prices, the lower break-even price is $438.62, and that's because at $438.62, the short 450 put will have $11.38 of intrinsic value at expiration, while all of the other iron condors options will expire worthless and therefore the iron condors value at expiration will be $11.38 which is the same price that we sold the iron condor for at the time of entering the trade and therefore no profits and no losses will be realized at expiration. The upper break even price of $561.38 comes from the fact that at that price the 550 call option will have $11.38 of intrinsic value at expiration, while all of the other iron condors options will expire worthless. Because of that, the iron condors overall value at expiration will be $11.38, which is the same exact price that we sold it for at the time of entering the trade. And because of that, no profits or losses will be realized on the trade. Now, as you might've guessed, because of the fact that the stock price can be anywhere between 438.62 and 561.38 at expiration and the trade will make money. Selling iron condors is a very high probability trading strategy, meaning that when you sell an iron condor, you have a greater than 50% probability of making money in theory. Now that we've looked at a hypothetical trade example, let's go look at some real iron condor trade examples using historical option data and look at how those trades performed based on the stock price movements over time. As I mentioned earlier, there's a link in the description where you can download a free iron condor PDF that I created that'll show you common ways to set up an iron condor trade in terms of choosing an expiration cycle and selecting strike prices. In this first iron condor trade example, we're gonna look at a scenario where the iron condor earns the maximum profit potential, which occurs when the stock price is in between the call spread and the put spread at expiration. Let's take a look at the trade details. At the time of entering this trade, the stock price was trading for $574.81. The options used in this example had 46 days to expiration at the time of entering the iron condor. To begin constructing this iron condor position, I sold the 535 put option for $11.75, and I sold the 615 call option for $10.40. To complete the iron condor, I bought the 505 put option for $6.03, and I bought the 645 call option for $4.47. 
In this example, the net credit is $11.65, which comes from the fact that I collected $22.15 for the options that I sold, but I paid $10.50 for the options that I purchased. $22.15 minus $10.50 gives us a net credit of $11.65 for this iron condor trade. Because of that, the maximum profit potential for this trade is $1,165. The maximum loss potential of this particular position is $1,835, and that comes from the fact that both spreads in this example are $30 wide, meaning the call spread is $30 wide and the put spread is $30 wide, and since I collected $11.65 for this iron condor position, the maximum spread width of $30 less the $11.65 credit received comes out to a maximum loss potential of $18.35. And when we multiply it by 100, which is the option contract multiplier, we get a maximum loss potential of $1,835. The expiration breakeven prices are $523.35 and $626.65. Let's take a look at how this trade performed. On the very top of the chart, we're looking at the changes in the stock price relative to the options that were used in the iron condor, as well as the breakeven prices for this particular position. On the bottom of the chart, we're looking at the price change of the iron condor position as the stock price changes values over time. In the first few weeks of the trade, we can see that the stock price fell from just about $570 to just below $485, at which point the 535-505 put spread was entirely in the money. With a significant decrease in the stock price and the short put spread fully in the money, the iron condor's value appreciated to $22, which represents a loss of just over $1,000 on the iron condor position at that moment. Fortunately, the stock price recovered over the coming weeks and ended up in between the call spread and the put spread for the remainder of the trade. As we can see, the iron condor steadily lost value due to time decay because all of the options consisted of 100% extrinsic value when the stock price was in between the call spread and the put spread. The steady decay of the iron condor's value generated profits for the iron condor seller because when you sell an iron condor, the goal is to eventually buy back the iron condor at a later date for a price that is less than what you initially collected for the iron condor. Or as it happened in this example, the best case scenario is that the stock price is in between the call spread and the put spread at expiration, in which case the iron condor seller keeps 100% of the premium that they collected at the time of selling the iron condor. With an initial sale price of $11.65, the iron condor seller in this example would have profited by $1,165 per iron condor that they sold. To summarize this trade, a significant stock price decrease early on in the trade caused some initial losses, but fortunately the stock price did recover and was in between the call spread and put spread at expiration, which resulted in the maximum profit potential for this iron condor position. In this example, we're gonna look at a scenario where the iron condor ends up with the maximum loss potential at expiration. The initial stock price is $121.45, and to construct the iron condor, we're gonna look at options with 46 days to expiration. To start off the iron condor, I sold the 119 put option for $1.25, and sold the 124 call option for $1.05. To complete the iron condor, I purchased the 115 put option for 39 cents, and bought the 128 call option for 38 cents. The net credit in this example is $1.53, which stems from the fact that I collected $2.30 for the options that I sold, but I paid 77 cents for the options that I purchased. The maximum profit potential in this case is $153. The maximum loss potential in this case is $247, which comes from the fact that both spreads are $4 wide and with a net credit of $1.53, the most the iron condor's value can move against me is $2.47, which comes from the $4 spread width minus the $1.53 credit, which comes out to $2.47 that the iron condor can move against me. And when we multiply that by 100, 
we get a maximum loss potential of $247. The expiration break-even prices in this example are $117.43 and $125.53. Let's take a look at what goes wrong with this trade. In this example, what goes wrong is very clear. Since selling iron condors is a market neutral strategy that profits when the stock price remains in between the call spread and the put spread as time passes, if the stock price moves through the call spread or through the put spread and one of the spreads is fully in the money at expiration, the iron condor will end up with the maximum loss potential at expiration. In this example, the stock price heads higher over the entire duration of the trade and at expiration, the stock price is well above the call spread strike prices of 124 and 128, in which case the 124, 128 call spread is entirely in the money. And because of that, the put spread expires worthless, but the call spread expires with a value of $4. And that means that the iron condor's value as a whole expires with a value of $4. With an initial sale price of $1.53, an increase in the iron condor's value to $4 represents a $247 loss per iron condor that was sold. Now that we've looked at profitable and unprofitable iron condor trades, what does setting up an iron condor look like when using real brokerage software? In this example, I'm gonna use the Tastyworks brokerage platform and I'm gonna show you exactly how to set up a real iron condor position and I'm even gonna route the trade for you and show you what it looks like once that trade is filled. So I've just opened up the Tastyworks trading platform and I'm currently on the chart page for FedEx, which is the ticket symbol FDX. Now I'm going to create a iron condor position in this stock and to do that we have to go to the trade page and to do that just click on this trade tab right here and this will open up all the option expiration cycles for FedEx. So as we can see here we have a number of different choices and for this example I'm going to use the June 21st 2019 expiration cycle which has 37 days to expiration. And the reason I'm going to choose this expiration cycle is first, it has between 30 to 60 days to expiration, which is my preferred time frame for selling iron condors. And also this purple E with the line across, this is telling me that FedEx has earnings somewhere between June and the July expiration. So by trading in the June expiration cycle, I will not be impacted by this earnings announcement. So I'm gonna go ahead and click into the June 2019 expiration cycle. And on the left-hand side, we have the call options. The right-hand side, we have the put options. And in the middle, we have the strike prices. For this example, I'm gonna start by selling the call and the put options with the delta around 0.16. Now, if you download the free PDF file that I've discussed earlier with the link in the description, we'll talk more about the trade setup process. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and locate the options with the deltas closest to 0.16. This 185 call option is the starting point. So to start the iron condor, I have to sell this option. And to do that, I'm gonna click on the bid price, which queues up in order to sell the 185 call. And then I'm gonna to go to the put side and do the same exact thing. So we can see the 155 put option has a delta of negative 0.16. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the bid price for that. To complete the iron condor, we have to purchase a put option at a lower strike price. And I'm just gonna do $5 wide spreads on each side, which means I'm gonna buy the 150 put and buy the 190 call option. This is the completed iron condor. And for this trade, we can see that the credit is at $1.10. And right here, we see the maximum profit says $110 and the maximum loss potential says $389. And that's because the price just changed. So let's go ahead and visualize the risk and reward potential of this trade. And the way I can do that is by clicking on the curve button at the top here, making sure analysis is checked. And here we can see the risk and reward profile of this particular iron condor position. If FedEx is between 155 and 185 at expiration, the profit on this position will be $111. And that comes from the fact that if I collect $1.11 for this iron condor and all the options expire worthless, I will make $1.11 on the iron condor, which in actual profitability terms comes out to $110 or $111 as the price is changing right now. On the other hand, if FedEx is below 150 or above 190 at expiration, the maximum loss potential of $390 will be realized because if FedEx is above 190 at expiration, these put options will expire worthless, but this 185, 190 call spread will be worth $5. And if FedEx is below 150 at expiration, 
then the call spread will expire worthless, but the 155, 150 put spread will be worth $5. And in either of those scenarios, the iron condor's value will be worth $5 at expiration. And if I sold the iron condor for $1.10, then an increase to $5 would represent a $3.90 move against me, which comes out to a maximum loss potential of $390. So let's say I wanted to actually go ahead and put this trade on. All I'd have to do is make sure my price is selected. And right now it says the mid price is $1.10. So I'm going to go ahead and click this lock button so the price does not change as I go to click review and send. And then once I click review and send, this will confirm all of my order details for me. It'll tell me my commissions and estimated fees as well as my buying power reduction, which is basically the maximum loss potential plus the fees. So I'm gonna go ahead and send this order and see what happens. If I go to the positions tab, we can see that FedEx has a working order and it's telling me that the mid price of this iron condor position is $1.12, but my limit order is at $1.10. You might think that this trade should be getting filled right now since the mid price is higher than what I'm trying to sell it for, but this is just a quote and not necessarily where the options are actually trading. This is just taking out the mid price of all the options and telling me what that mid price is. So I'm not getting filled. So one thing I can do is right click on this, click replace order. And then I'm just going to reduce the amount I'm trying to collect for this by one penny. And then I'm gonna click review and send again, send order and see what happens. And I'm gonna do that one more time just so I can see if I can get filled. And I'll do that. Oh, there we go. So I just got filled on that FedEx iron condor. And as we can see here, now it is a live position in my portfolio and we can track the PL. It'll tell me how many days the position has been opened and all this other information displayed on the portfolio page right here. I'm going to go ahead and just close this right away because this is not a position I want. So to do that, I'm just going to click on all four of the legs, right click, hit close position. And this brings up in order to close the position at whatever the current mid price is. And since it's at $1 and 10 cents, I'll review and send, send order, and hopefully get out of this position. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and get out of this position pretty aggressively because this is not something I want to hold. And there we go. So I'm out of this FedEx iron condor. And as you can see, you can get in and out of option positions just that quickly. That was literally less than 60 seconds that elapsed. So hopefully this little tutorial was helpful in showing you how to set up and trade an iron condor using real brokerage software. I hope those tips were helpful and that you have a better idea of how to go about setting up your own iron condor positions on whatever brokerage platform you're using. Next, I'm gonna quickly discuss buying iron condors as a trading strategy. Completely opposite of selling iron condors, buying iron condors is typically referred to as a long iron condor position and a long iron condor position consists of buying a call spread and buying a put spread at the exact same time and in the same expiration cycle. Since buying a call spread is a bullish strategy, which means it makes money when the stock price increases through the call spread strike prices, and buying a put spread is a bearish strategy, meaning that the put spread profits when the stock price falls below the put spread strike prices, Buying a call spread and buying a put spread at the same time to construct a long iron condor position is technically still a market neutral position. When buying iron condors, a trader is making the assumption that the stock price is going to increase or decrease significantly in a short period of time, but the trader does not necessarily want to make a prediction about which direction the stock price will actually go. Looking back at our earlier example, if we have a stock price at $500, and we purchase the 550 600 call spread and the 450 400 put spread for a total debit of $11.38, our maximum loss potential will be $1,138 if the stock price stays between the call spread and put spread through expiration. However, if the stock price is above $600 at expiration or below $400 at expiration, the call spread or the put spread will be fully in the money in which case the iron condor's value will be $5,000 since one of those spreads will be worth $50 while the other spread will expire worthless 
And if the iron condor's value increases to $50 from a purchase price of $11.38, the profit on that trade would be $3,862. While it may seem more attractive to you to have a $1,138 maximum loss potential, and a $3,862 maximum profit potential, keep in mind that the stock price has to increase or decrease more than 20% for that maximum profit potential to be realized. And if the stock price does not move more than 10% in either direction, the strategy will lose $1,138. Due to the fact that you need a significant movement in either direction to make money when buying an iron condor, buying iron condors is a low probability trading strategy, meaning Meaning that if you buy an iron condor, there is theoretically less than a 50% probability that you will make money on that trade. If the stock price does not make a significant movement in either direction before the options expire, the iron condor purchase will lose money to time decay. That's it for this video, everybody. I really hope you enjoyed this video on iron condors, and I hope you feel more comfortable with this extremely popular options trading strategy. Be sure to check the links in the description for that free Iron Condor PDF and also to learn about how you can get one of our paid courses for free when you open and fund your first Tastyworks brokerage account. I'm Chris from Project Option and I will see you in the next video.